हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डिटरमाइन द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड कोऑर्डिनेट डायरेक्शन एंगल्स राइट सो कॉर्डिनेट डायरेक्शन एंगल्स आर द एंगल्स ऑफ दिस गिवन फोर्स विद द पॉजिटिव एक्स वाई एंड जेड एक्सिस इज राइट दैट इज द अल्फा बीटा एंड गेमा एंगल्स and further it is said that the component of f in the xy plane is 7 kN right so this this component which is lying in the xy plane uh, the magnitude of this uh, force is given right this is 7 kN so now let's say that this uh, component of this force f which is lying in the xy plane is let's say that this is uh, this is f dash right so now if we consider this light blue triangle and if i draw a component like this let's say right so this is this arrow is the component of this force f which is acting in the positive x direction if i move it here right so this arrow is parallel to the z axis right so if we consider this light blue blue triangle then this uh, z this component this component is the z component of this force f right so we can write that this is f of z right this is f of z right and the base of this light blue triangle is let's say f dash right so from that blue triangle we can write that f dash is uh, f cos of 30 right since the angle is made with this f dash then this f dash is the cos component so we can write that this is f cos of 30 degrees and this is equal to 7 kN right since, since the magnitude is given in the problem statement right so this is 7 kilo newton so from this equation we can find the f value that is the f magnitude the magnitude of this given force right so f is equal to 7 divided by cos of 30 degrees and when we solve this so f magnitude is we can find it by using calculator so this is 7 divided by cos of 30 so this is uh, 8.08 kN right so we can write that 8.08 kN right so in the problem statement we were asked to determine the magnitude right so this is the magnitude of that given force which is 8.08 kN to find the f of x component the component of this force f which is acting along the x axis is right so let's see that this is the the component of this force f which is acting in the positive x direction right and this is the component of this force f which is acting in the negative y direction right if i place it here like this right so then if i place it here and if we consider this dark blue triangle then this one is f of x component and this one is f of y component right so from this we can write that if we consider this dark blue triangle which is lying in the xy plane so the hypotenuse of this dark blue triangle is that f dash component right so we can write that f of x is the cos component of the f dash right so this is f dash cos of 40 degrees since the angle of the f dash is made with this f of x right so it will be the cos component and f of y is f dash sin of 40 degrees right so from this we can write that f of x is f dash cos of 40 and f dash is equal to this thing right our f dash magnitude is 7 kN we can write that f of x is f dash cos of 40 degrees and we can write that f dash magnitude is 7 kN which is given this is 7 cos of 40 similarly f of y is from here we can write that this is f dash sin of 40 and f dash magnitude is given which is 7 kN so this is 7 sin of 40 degrees so we can find f of x so f of x is 7 cos of 40 So this is 5.36 right so f of x is 5.36 kN and similarly f of y we can write f of y is uh, 7 sin of 40 so this is 4.49 so we can write that it is approximately 4.50 kN right and if we consider this light blue triangle then f of z is the sine component so i can write that f of z is f sine of 
30 degrees we are considering this light blue triangle so f is making 30 degrees here right so then it f of z will be f sine of 30 degrees right so f magnitude is known which is 8.08 .08 kilonewton so i can write it this is 8.08 .08, 8.08 sine of 30 degrees So this is uh, 4.04. So f of z is 4.04 kilonewton, right? Since we are uh, asked to find the coordinate direction angles, right? So coordinate direction angles are the angles of this force f with the positive x, y, and z axis, right? So let's say that this force f is making this angle with the positive x axis. Let's say this is alpha. And this force F is making some angle with the positive y axis like this. Let's say this is beta. And let's say that this force F is making some angle with the positive z axis like this. So this is let's say gamma. So we are required to find this alpha, beta and gamma angles, right? So now if I write the F vector, then this F vector is equal to F of x i minus f y j since the f y component is acting in the negative direction so we have to put minus sign here and this is plus the z component is acting in the positive z direction right so this is plus f z k right so now we know f of x so f of x magnitude is 5.36 i minus f of y is uh, this is f of y this is 4.50 so 4.50 j plus f of z is 4.04 .04, right so we will write that this is 4.04 k as we know that cos of alpha is equal to f of x divided by f right if you people do not know about this uh, cos alpha and this ratio and you people are new to this problem and you people do not know what are the coordinate direction angles so please follow the link uh, I will give the link in the description for a specific video here. Yeah. First, you people have to uh, watch and follow that video and then come back to this problem, right? So, cos of alpha is f of x divided by f. So, f of x, we can we can find alpha by using uh, taking cos inverse and f of x is 5.36. So, this is 5.36 divided by f. So, f magnitude is 8.08, .08, right? So this will give us the alpha angle similarly we can find beta we can write cos of beta so cos of beta will be f of y divided by f magnitude so we can write that beta will be cos inverse and f of y is minus 4.50 divided by f which is 8.08 .08. and similarly cos of gamma is equal to f of y divided by f so gamma will be cos inverse and f uh, sorry, this is f f z, right? So f z is 4.04 .04 divided by 8.08. .08. So now we can find all these angles. Uh, so cos inverse 5.36 divided by 8.08. .08. So this gives us 48.44. So alpha is 48.44 degrees. Similarly, uh, beta is minus 4.50. This is 123.84. Beta is 123.84 degrees. And similarly, this is 4.04. .04. So this is 60 degrees. So gamma is 60 degrees, right? So now we, we know this alpha, beta and gamma angles, right? So these these three are the, the coordinate direction angles and this is the magnitude of that force F which is given, right? So this is the solution of this particular problem.